discussion on important aspects of acute aortic regurgitation. Hemodynamics and findings in acute aortic regurgitation are significantly different from the familiar picture of chronic aortic regurgitation. Due to the atypical findings, it may be difficult to diagnose acute aortic regurgitation. All the same, it is not a stable condition like chronic AR. Acute regurgitation can rapidly progress to heart failure and early mortality if left untreated. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Important causes of acute AR are infective endocarditis, aortic dissection and rarely trauma. Rare causes reported are necrotizing granulomatous inflammation of the aortic wall in rheumatoid arthritis and evolution of aortic wall commissure and spontaneous rupture of a fibrous strand in fenestrated aortic wall. Pathophysiology of acute AR is characterized by the sudden volume overloading of the left ventricle which is unprepared and has a normal size. In chronic AR, left ventricle dilates progressively when AR progresses as the left ventricle gets time to accommodate the additional volume load. In acute IR, there is a rapid increase in LV diastolic pressure which approaches the aortic diastolic pressure. This causes mitral wall pre-closure in diastole. Premature closure of the mitral wall prevents transmission of elevated left ventricular diastolic pressure to the pulmonary veins and hence pulmonary edema. But when the LV diastolic pressure rises further, this protection is lost and the mitral wall opens in late diastole causing diastolic mitral regurgitation. Mitral regurgitation can extend to the isovolumic contraction period and early systole when the LV diastolic pressure is very high. Left atrium serves as a reservoir to decompress the left ventricle in acute AR. But this compensatory mechanism can also fail soon when AR progresses leading to pulmonary edema. Premature closure of mitral valve in acute AR is demonstrated on M-mode echocardiography. Premature mitral valve closure was graded as plus when it occurred before the QRS but after the P wave. When it occurred before the P wave, it was graded as plus plus. These have been called as grade 1 and grade 2 by other authors. Grade 2 premature closure of mitral valve can occur up to 200 milliseconds before the QRS while grade 1 is up to 50 milliseconds before the QRS. The classical decrescendo early diastolic murmur and peripheral signs of chronic aortic regurgitation are not found in acute IR. An early diastolic murmur, if it is heard, is usually softer and shorter in acute IR. A soft to and fro murmur may be heard in acute IR. Murmur can be absent and the heart sounds quite soft or absent sometimes leading to a silent precordium. Auscultatory timing of heart sounds are difficult because of their softness and shortening of diastole, often shorter than systole. Systole becomes longer because of prolonged systolic ejection time as the left ventricle is overloaded. Mitral valve closes prematurely and opens late because of prolonged systole. It has been suggested that those with grade 2 premature closure of mitral wall should undergo early aortic wall replacement. Aortic regurgitation in Stanford type A aortic dissection has several mechanisms and they have implications for repair. Five potential mechanisms are 1. Incomplete closure of leaflets due to tethering by a dilated sinotubular junction. 2. Leaflet prolapse due to disruption of attachment by dissection flap. 3. Prolapse of dissection flap through the wall leaflets preventing leaflet coaptation. 4. Bicuspid aortic wall and associated leaflet prolapse unrelated to the dissection process. 5. Degenerative leaflet thickening leading to abnormal leaflet coaptation. First three can be considered for repair without replacement of the wall. Here are the first set of references on acute aortic regurgitation. Second set of references are here. These are the third set of references.
Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.